Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a lovely day today. So today I have been to Auntie Anne's. So I've not been to Auntie Anne's since I was in America last year, but it was somewhere I wanted to try and I was just lucky enough to be able to get one of the two good to go bags. Now I have tried a few times, but I was in the shopping center where Auntie Anne's is based and they did have a two good to go bag available. In fact, they had a few available even after I bought mine. So this is our little bag here. Um, for those of you who don't know what Auntie Anne's serves basically, what their sort of brand is all about. Um, I, I think it's an American company. Um, yep, so on, the, on, the, on the, the bag, it actually does say to you that it all started in 1988 at a farmer's market in Pennsylvania, America, when Auntie Anne Byler and her husband purchased a pretzel stand. So um, yeah, that's how it all started. Obviously they do have branches in the UK, they have them in America. I don't know whether they have them in Europe as well or Australia or further afield, but um, it certainly is a brand that I recognise within the UK, um, probably from being in America as well on holidays. Um, but certainly I will show you what we managed to get in our little bag. Um, it also advises you on here that the freshness is their secret ingredient, apparently. Um, and they also have a reward scheme as well, which you can sign up to if you want to when you go to buy their products. So let's have a look inside the bag and see what we got. So the first item, it's nicely rolled up here, is... Oh, that smells really, really spicy. Um, so basically what it is, it looks like a bit of a pretzel dog. So I think it's a cheese and jalapeno pretzel dog. And obviously we've got our sausage there and then we've got the sort of pretzel dough wrapped round about the outside of the sausage or the hot dog. And then we've got the jalapenos and cheese on top. Now, um, when I got this, it was just warm and no more. I mean, it was tepid at best, um, but obviously you can have it cold or I've kept mine in the fridge since I've got home. Um, but it also does advise you to put it in the microwave just to warm it back up again, which I'm thinking probably would be best just because of the cheese and probably would just taste a little bit better. So I will heat this up in the microwave when I've got a chance. There's quite a lot of sort of um, crispy cheese on the bottom there as well, I don't know if you guys can see. Um, but that's certainly one of my favourite things, if I ever have anything with cheese on it, um, it's having the sort of crispy cheese around the outside, it's top notch. Pop this back down. We also have a, little, a nice little cup for one. That's a nice little start, isn't it? Um, but we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six um, sort of like pretzel sticks. Um, I've not had these before, but they're quite firm. Um, they do look nice. I think they're probably similar to churros, but a slightly more firm texture. Um, but I think these ones must be the vanilla kind. I know they do do original ones with just plain sugar. These definitely smell like vanilla. They're very sweet, um, quite fragrant smelling. So we've got one, two, three, four, six of these. And our final product from our bag. So this is empty now, apart from some sugar in the bottom. Um, we also have two, three, four, five, six. Six more sticks pretzel sticks and they're definitely cinnamon ones and um, they're very very cinnamony but certainly lots of lots of coating on them um, again very very sort of tough in texture there's not much sort of movement to that at all I'll have a slight try of it just so I can tell you what it what the texture is like it's quite tough <clears throat> okay, that was tough. Um, <laughs> it's really difficult to get to chew actually, really difficult to sort of break down but also get over as well. Um, very dry, obviously these probably would come with like some sort of dipping sauce I presume. If you were to buy them from the shop, I'm sure they'd probably charge you extra for the dipping sauce as well. Um, as is a lot of these places that do make extra money from toppings and sauces and things don't they? So. 
um, they definitely need something to dip them into. It may be that if they're warmed up in the microwave they might be a little bit nicer in texture but certainly as it goes at the moment they're, they're really tough. <laughs> um, you need a good set of gnashers to get through them that's for sure. So all in all you might be thinking okay so you've got a chili cheese dog pretzel dog thing you've got 10 eh, sorry 12 pretzel sticks how much did you pay so i'm a little bit disappointed i must admit because i don't personally feel what we paid was what i don't feel that the amount of food we paid for was what we got um but after looking at the prices online i'm led to believe by the prices online that this is the actual prices of things at the shop which is just phenomenal so we paid a total of four pounds and 99 pence Personally, I don't think it's worth any more than like three pounds, two ninety nine, three pounds, um, maybe three ninety nine at the very most, to be honest. So the original price, as I said, we paid was uh, well, sorry, the two good to go price that we paid was four pounds ninety nine, so five pounds. And the um, two good to go original price on their website or sorry their app was recommending it was fifteen pounds worth. Now there is no way. Honestly, there's no way that I think two small containers of like pretzel sticks and one sort of like hot dog roll and pretzel sort of dough is worth anywhere near £15. Um, on their website, the prices are around £4.80, I think, per tub of pretzel sticks, which I think is ridiculous. It's a really, really high price for what it is. It's literally dough wrapped in sugar. And the the pretzel dog is a hot dog wrapped in pretzel dough with a little bit of cheese on top. That certainly doesn't cost £4 odds either, but everything is round about sort of £4.80 mark, £5 odds on the website. I think the hot dog or the, the sort of pretzel dog was around £5.25 on the website. And so it does basically equate to the £15 original value. But as I said, I personally don't think any of all of that is worth any more than a couple of pounds each per item on the Too Good To Go app. So um, the stand itself was quite small. I wonder if that's why it's a small stand, just because they don't get lots and lots of business. Um, as far as I was, was aware, Auntie Anne's used to have an actual unit in the shopping centre that I went to, and it's now just a concession and a little stall um, within the shopping centre itself. So I half wonder if that's maybe one of the reasons is that they just weren't making enough money to keep the store open but they did obviously have enough popularity and following to keep the stall going um, personally for me it's not somewhere that i'm going to go back to anytime soon with regards to getting a too good to go bag and looking at the most up-to-date pricing it's not somewhere i'll be going back to anytime soon regards paying four pound odds for pretzel sticks in a tub it's just not worth it but what I would say is that if you're there and you're able to get a too good to go bag or if you want to try it for your own, you know, for your own uh, curiosity, then absolutely go ahead and do it. But it's not something I would recommend that you go out of your way to go to get or make a beeline for if you're in the area. If you know, if you're so if it so happens to be that you're there, fair enough. But um again, it's not somewhere I'll think I'll be going anytime soon. So a bit disappointed. I feel the value isn't very good and it's literally just dough <laughs> um, with sugar on it that we've paid quite a lot of money for I feel which is a shame um, but yeah I hope this has been useful I hope it's sort of given you a little bit of insight into you know when you don't get as much value for money than you know the what you would hope or think you would get um, and again I, I, I know I haven't been putting my sort of star rating up on the, the um, thumbnails um, with regards to the videos recently, but I would give this probably probably a one and a half to two stars out of five. Um, it's just quite disappointing. So, uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry it's not so much of a positive um, video this time around, but it's good to show you guys that you don't always get a good deal. And obviously we have saved all this food from going to food waste, but at the same time, I am pretty sure that they would have been able to have sold 12 pretzel sticks and if they didn't I'm sure the staff would have eaten them or potentially have taken them home as well but again they've made profit from selling um, sort of waste food haven't they so I suppose it's a win-win for them 
Um, so yeah, as always, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for taking the time to comment and engage with the channel, engage with myself. And um, I'll see you on the next one. So thanks for your time again today. See you later. Bye.